Spooky season is officially here, and I have not one pumpkin in my entire apartment. But what we do have is the return of Giratina altered form in Pokemon Go, and yes, it could be shiny. Ring it in the spooky season right with this guy. And today, we'll be completing Giratina raids until we get the shiny. But as always, every time Giratina doesn't shine, I've got to transfer one of my shinies. Now, we have some insane shiny Pokemon in our graveyard today, so I really don't want to have to transfer too many of them. Which is why we're going to implement a little bit of an updated shiny luck strategy today. Well, this looks good. <sighs> Let's get this shiny. And here we go, the first Giratina raid is in. And the challenge begins. And fair warning, this legendary, a lot more useful than you think. But also not as useful as you think. And the first Giratina of the day goes down. We got the first raid shiny with Yveltal. Can we do it with Giratina? <sighs> All right, we start with pain. And the transfers begin with, not bad, not bad, a shiny Lolan Geo dude from Community Day. Not bad. All right, time to get another shiny. And to do that... Ah. We're drinking Element. Element, by the way, doesn't just bring the shiny luck. It brings the electrolytes. These little flavored packs are stuffed, chock full of electrolytes. And all you have to do is just mix them with your water and voila, done. And it makes water tastier and more fun to drink, which makes hydrating more fun, which is good. You've got like watermelon, raspberry salt, lemon habanero, and Element is trusted and used by industry professionals all over the place. Like Team USA weightlifting, dozens of players in the NFL, NBA, and NHL, special forces members in the Navy SEALs and Marines, and me. You're a friendly, shiny Pokemon professional. And there's good reason why we all use Element. The science. Electrolytes are really important and everyone needs them. Especially those fasting, regularly exercising, or on certain diets like low carb or keto. I personally have been putting a lot of work into my fitness and my diet lately, and having Element to help with the extra electrolytes lately has been super huge. Which is why it's so sick that they're hooking all of us up. If you use my link in the description, you can get a free sample pack, one of these bad boys, with your order, which includes one of each flavor. And there's a lot of flavors. So thank you again to Element for sponsoring us today and hooking up the fam. Check the link in the description to pick up some for yourself and maybe get a little bit extra shiny luck. Like this. No. And how shiny gibble transferred. Ouch. Okay, so Giratina, obviously right here, it is a ghost and dragon type Pokemon, which means we want to mega evolve a ghost or dragon. Luckily, I have eight max level dragon type Pokemon. Okay. Let us see how many XL candy we can get to today, because this is definitely a Pokemon worth getting XLs for. All right, starting off, 10. Yikes. Second Giratina has gone down, and it's... I actually was literally saying it's not blue. I, I jinxed myself. That was my bad. And the transfer is a shiny Starly. Oh my god, we're dodging all the good stuff. I have a feeling... We're gonna transfer some pretty good things today. Oh. Now, what's the best way to take down this beastie? Obviously, as a ghost and dragon type Pokemon, it will be weak to kind of a lot of things, including dark, dragon, fairy, ghost, and ice type Pokemon. This thing gets clapped up by quite a bit. So the best counters you're gonna to wanna to use when battling down Giratina include Mega Gengar, if you're not using a Mega to boost your candy and XL candy. If you wanna be a team player, use the Mega Gengar. If you wanna grind the XLs, use a dragon or ghost type Mega. And then the rest of your counters, typically you just want to use your dragon type Pokemon, which includes Rayquaza, Palkia, Hydreigon, Salamence, and Garchomp. Like this right here, Shadow Shiny Salamence. <laughs> a little bit of a flex for you. But as you can see with eight people right now, we are absolutely demolishing the Giratina. It's not the hardest legendary to take down. Roughly two to four people needed to finish the job. But yes, you can duo this, which is kind of awesome. Oh my God, my Salamence is invincible. My Salamence is invincible. What's happening? Next check is in. Giratina is shiny oh my god right off the bat what did we say what did we say with the shiny luck <laughs> let's go link in the description for these bad boys oh my gosh well i can't believe we actually got the shiny this early on we will continue the ch hmm oh my god i can't believe we actually got the shiny this early on we will continue the challenge though for the rest of the day any giratina raid we do we will transfer a shiny if the Giratina isn't shiny at the end. Because we still have a lot to talk about today, including 100% catch IVs and the meta relevancy of this Pokemon. The biggest, most important question always is, is this thing worth spending money on? Because legendary raids, you gotta buy raid passes most likely. These Pokemon are expensive to grind, so knowing if they're good or not, very important. Well, we've got 19 XL candies, a 20, that's pretty good, 2393, decent IV. I'm telling ya, updated shiny look method. Giratina, number 
four has been defeated. I actually wonder how many shinies we can get today. Our luck seems pretty good. Again, I, <laughs> I know why. Next one. <sighs> Is it the hundo? I don't know because I don't know what the hundo is. Let's talk about that. And down goes shiny shield on. Oh no, dude. Are the IVs good? Oh, they're horrendous. God, but what a rare shiny. Oh, the real pain begins. Unrelated, I don't know what's happening. There's a wild drapey on here. I don't think I've ever seen this in a while. This looks insane. All right, Giratina, let's go for two shinies today. <laughs> okay, fine. And it's, oh God, shiny electric. Really, really rare shiny. A really good one because of Mega Manetric. And one less one on my account. Next, Giratina in the house. God, that hurts. Oh, dude, the 100% catch shape piece. For the non-weather boosted, which we have right here, 1931 is the hundo. And then for the weather boosted, 2414 is the 100% catch CP. And it's boosted by foggy and windy weather. Keep it out for those hundos. The last legendary raid boss that we had, I ended up getting a 100% IV of on the last night that it was out. So to see what we got, what legendary it was in the hundo, the whole thing happened. The video for that is over on the Mystic 7 Clips channel. The link is in the description or the video maybe somewhere on screen. But check that out, because that was insane. And the next transfer, <sighs> shiny little and you, dude. Not mad, not mad. And, oh no. And it's gonna be Sveal, which is still community day, but a little more rare, you know, a little nicer. I kinda like Sveal. Ow. Giratina, no. All right, it's a shiny sea dot from 2020. This is an old guy. Ouch. Now, what about the meta relevancy of Giratina? Do you want to put your money into this? Is this a good raid boss to grind? When talking about Giratina in general, it's really good. Because not only do you have this form of Giratina, but you have the origin form as well, and they both use and take the same candy. So even though one Giratina may not be great, the other may be great at something else that you might want it for, so it's worth the grind of both kind of thing? That's kind of the case with this Giratina, at least when it comes to being a raid boss counter. As a ghost type Pokemon and a dragon type Pokemon, this form of Giratina just isn't that good. It's not that useful. But its other form, origin form Giratina, is a top three ghost type in Pokemon Go, and ghost types are really, really useful. So even though this form of Giratina isn't that great, it's good to just grind for candies and XL candies for Giratina so that you can dump them into the origin form Giratina, which we'll have next week. Now, as a PvP Pokemon, it is a completely different story with altered form Giratina. It is one of the best in the game, ranking third overall in the Ultra League with Shadow Claw, Dragon Claw, and Shadow Sneak, and ranked fourth overall in the Masters League with Shadow Claw, Dragon Claw, and Ancient Power. Although it may not be great as a raid boss counter, it is a top five Pokemon in two different leagues. This thing is kind of a goat, but again, only if you PvP. If you're a raid person like myself, this form is much less important than the origin form, but again, I at least will be grinding this form for those extra candies and XL candies so that I can dump them into the other form, origin form Giratina, because I have two hundos and I have like zero XLs and I have a shiny. Dang it. And now it's a Mudkip shiny. I like shiny Mudkip. It's not an OG one though, I don't think. God, it still hurts. The last two legendaries that came out, I got the 100% IV for each of them. So if we can get a hundo altered form Giratina, that's three legendaries in a row. Although personally, I would rather get the origin form 100%. It's fine, I'll take them both. But what we're really here for today, <laughs> just the shiny. All right, we gotta get at least one more shiny today, right? <sighs> Typically around this time of the day, I would just end the challenge and stop transferring shinies, but I think we're gonna keep it going all day long. This is gonna hurt. Okay, this raid was sent by Fleece King, so surely <laughs> it's lucky. <sighs> Please, Giratina, something. God, no. You know, maybe I have an idea. Let's keep transferring shinies until our next shiny Giratina, and then we'll call it a day. One more shiny, I believe. <laughs> oh, man. Shiny transfer luck emotes into the house, and here it is. gonna be pain because we're gonna start with a shiny magmar from 2020 i'm gonna assume this is a go fest not a go fest i'm sorry a um whatchamacallit community day shiny magmar so not the worst to transfer but absent chat god for the first transfer of the day it's gonna be magmar oh look transfer six pokemon we're gonna <laughs> we are gonna check that off today that's for sure shiny giratina god all right, well, oh, we gotta transfer Shiny first, and then we get it the next raid. Shiny Machop goes! Goodbye, Machop! Ow. Shiny Luck? Remember, we're in a Shiny Transfer Challenge. 
God, it hurts! All right, well, at least we're getting the Giratina. We're getting the XL candies. We're over 100 now, which is great. And we have to transfer a Shiny, which is nothing but pain. Into the graveyard we go. Shiny Porygon 2. Oh, man. That's a good one. God, that hurts. <sighs> okay, well, we do have to transfer Shiny or 118 XL candies. In the graveyard, Shiny Abra from 2020. What? Where'd I get this? This one's old, okay? And it's dead! L! And that's enough pain for today. Make sure to check out Element, link in the description, and if you liked the video, leave a like, subscribe, and check out the other ones on screen. Thank you for watching.